This is Jim with A Wonder Pickers. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. The point of the following video is to provide you an up close view of the products that we sell as if you were heading into our local hometown dealership to purchase one. With everybody shopping online, this is our attempt to bring you closer to the product rather than just viewing words on a web page. Please be sure to email or call with any questions that you may have and also like us on Facebook for the latest product and industry updates. Thanks and enjoy the video. All right, here we have the Husqvarna 125BVX. Um, this is a handheld leaf blower with the uh, shredder back kit attachment included. So uh, let's go over um, some information here on the blower. Let's go over some uh, engine statistics. Uh, this particular unit right here is uh, 28 cc's um, or uh, um, uh, for the cylinder displacement and it's cranking out 1.1 horsepower. Now, uh, as far as the airflow movement that's on this particular blower, uh, there's two different ways to look at a leaf blower for measurement. There's miles per hour and there's CFM or cubic feet a minute. Now, miles per hour plays more into a role of where you're looking for pressure. Um, as an example, say you're somebody that uh, does uh, asphalt sealing or driveway sealing and uh, you got the uh, frost heaves or the cracks in the driveway. Uh, what you want to do is you actually want pressure or miles per hour in an instance like that, so you can blow the you know the the caked on dirt you know out out of the cracks, so you can go ahead and seal over it. Now, uh, in a landscaping perspective, uh, miles per hour pressure doesn't typically uh, do much for you. You got a large pile of leaves and you constrict the air to a small pressure point, uh, you're not going to move that big pile of leaves very well. Now, if you want to move a pile of leaves, you want volume or the amount of air you could throw at that pile of leaves. And that's what cubic feet a minute is CFM. So, um, this particular unit's uh, putting out 170 miles per hour, and uh, the CFM at the end of the blower tip, which is right here, you're putting out 425 cubic feet a minute. There is a second place that you can uh, also measure your, C your CFM, and that's inside of the blower housing, which is right here. And um, inside of the blower housing, the measurement is 470 cubic feet a minute. So if you're comparing it to other blowers or different ones that you'd like to choose in that, make sure you know where that CFM rating is coming from. The manufacturer is not giving you two ratings, and they're only giving you one, not telling you where it's from. It's typically going to be the higher rating which is going to be inside the actual impeller housing. So, and this particular unit's coming in at about 9.6 pounds. So, let's go over some of the features that it has. Uh, the circle tube that this unit comes with is good for the CFM or the, or the volume, if you want the most volume when you're doing yard work. And uh, it's got two different positions to lock it in, depending on how tall you are when you operate the unit. Uh, so it shortens the blower tube so you're not dragging it on the ground or or wherever you're more comfortable with uh, going ahead and operating it. It uh, also comes with a second blower tube, which is a duckbill nozzle here, which is good on flat surfaces. So uh, what they've done is they've restricted the, uh, the tube, they've squashed it at the end, which will increase miles per hour, but it's going to decrease your cubic feet a minute. But uh, this works real good on the sidewalk or the driveway uh, when you go to clean it off, but uh, it comes with both of them. All right, let's go over a few of the features that it has. The 125 BVX has a rubber armor uh, coated handle on it, which is nice. It helps uh, reduce vibration and also it's just easier to go ahead and grip. There is a auto um, return uh, kill switch, which is uh, right on the top here. And uh, you'll see that it's under the rubber, pro uh, rubber protective cap right there. Uh, what's nice is when you want to shut the blower off, press and hold, the kill position will shut off and then it returns back to the run position so that it's immediately ready whenever you want to pull and restart it. This has a, a spring assisted recoil uh, easy start unit on it. Um, you know, pull out and it just makes it much, much easier to start, but um, it's got the assisted um, easy start on the uh, 125 BVX. The uh, throttle's right here underneath the handle. There is a cruise control and you can set that to different positions if you watch it'll start sucking the uh, actual uh, the throttle up right there or the trigger and uh, also on the uh, the top of the unit right here is the uh, the grounding strip uh, now you can ask me what that is that's uh 
if the conditions are right, it's nice and dry, and you're out blowing things around, the, the dirt gets up in the air, well, it's sucking that air into here, and uh, the dirt will bounce around inside of the impeller housing, and those particles become uh, statically charged. No different than if you rub your feet on the carpet and zap the person that's next to you. So that strips helps prevent uh, from static electricity building up to where like if you're walking by a metal chain link fence and you touch it with your elbow, uh, you could easily you know ground yourself there and then uh, get a shock from it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look here at some other features the blower's got. Um, easy access to the spark plug, which is right here for changing that out. If you ever need parts for your blower, just uh, go ahead and uh, give us a phone call. We don't always have everything listed on the website, but parts available, we ship them all day. Just uh, call in during business hours, we'll get a parts look up and get an order going for you. So let's take a look at the back of the blower here. There's a purge primer here for easy starting. And then uh, we're going to go into the air filter housing right now. So you unscrew the back knob there. And uh, here's a, uh, um, a felt filter, which is uh, easily cleanable. It's dry filter, though. Um, any type of degreaser works real good with this. Uh, kitchen soap is great. Uh, nothing with ammonia. You don't typically want to use window products when cleaning this. And then uh, you just wait for it to dry, and you go ahead and put it back on. If any dirt or debris falls behind the filter, go ahead like a q-tip and pull it out make sure you don't push anything down into the carburetor uh, the choke for easy starting is is also right here um, there's basically a two position choke there's all the way on and there is a half choke when you're warming it up and then that's going to be the choke off and then there's a uh, indicator gauge on the actual uh, air filter cover Alright, there is a uh, fairly large uh, gas tank on it for the size of uh, blower it is, and then there is a tether attached to it, so it holds the gas cap on when you're going uh, to fill so you don't lose it, and then the, uh, cap, uh, the fill port is actually angled sideways so it makes for easy pouring when you're going to uh, fill the gasoline up. Alright, now the 125 BVX is uh, distinctly different from the 125B only because it is a shredder vac unit. So uh, what this one has that the uh, 125B does not is if you actually open up the impeller cover right here. You'll look inside, that's your impeller, which is right there. You'll see that metal strip on it right there. That is your shredder impeller on the inside. That's what does the uh, reduction ratio when you're uh, picking leaves up and shredding them. So uh, the uh, the 125B does not have that particular piece on there. Only the 125BVX. So uh, stay tuned to the next cut here, and then uh, we're going to show you uh, what the uh, actual um, uh, shredder vac kit looks like and how to assemble it. So uh, first step is you're going to um, uh, take the thumb screw here, we'll loosen up the thumb screw and you're going to pull off your original blower tube that's on here. Inside the gutter kit, you need a couple different pieces here. You're going to get your two suction tubes, you're going to get your collection bag with strap. And then you're also going to get your elbow attachment here. So I'll show you how all this works. First step you got to do is get the bag. You're going to unzip the back right here. And uh, the elbow actually feeds through and comes out the front. This particular piece right here, and there's a guide pin that's right on it, is going to go right where the uh, blower suction tube was. It's going to go right there. But before I do that, let me show you where the collection tubes would go. Uh, when you want to mount the collection tubes, you take a flat screwdriver, you push in, and then you pull, push in and pull up. Trying not to let go. And uh, that'll get you access to the impeller and the uh, shredder fin that's on there. So you take your first tube, 
which snaps in and you turn and lock it into place. On the blower, can't see it right now, but there's a lock and an unlock key right there, so you'll know what direction to go when you want to pull it off. So, the uh, second tube gets pressed into the uh, first one here. a little space on this if you want. Uh, you'll see a circle right here. You can actually shoot just a regular like Phillips screw through that. And that'll hold both the blower tubes on it. Normally you'd push it all the way up there. I'm not going to do that right now because we got to take it apart. But uh, you can shoot a screw in there once it's all the way together and then it'll hold tight for you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just want to watch here. I'm going to finish assembling the rest of this. At this point, you fire your blower up, and you're going to want to go suck up the pile of leaves you have out in the yard. And uh, the way this basically works is on this particular model, there is a handle on the bottom of the blower right there. So you're going to take the bag, the bag swings over your shoulder right there, and then this is this is how you um, this is how you operate the uh, shredder bag. You go ahead and you're going to grab the handle, which is on the lower portion of the blower right there, and then here's your throttle, and a lot of times you can just set that to the cruise control if you want, and then you go ahead and use this, and then you go ahead and suck up all the leaves. So, and then that's how that's how your shredder back works on it. And then it's, a, it's got a reduction ratio where it compacts everything into the bag. When you have to empty the bag out, then there's a zipper in the back. You go empty the bag out into the lawn bags or compost pile or, or into the garden, whatever you're doing with them. So uh, keep in mind that this, this, this is a shredder vac for leaves. This is not designed for sucking up twigs and rocks. You know, I mean, that, that's a... It's a tiny impeller on the inside. If you suck up a large size rock, it's very easy to crack a housing or bust a fin off on it. So it's it's meant for chewing up your leaves or just a little small debris. Um, nothing nothing with super hard shells on it. You start risking where you can cause damage to things. So uh, uh, keep in mind, uh, there's uh, plenty of accessories available uh, for the 125B. Sorry, the 125 BVX. If you get a six pack of Husqvarna oil to uh, go with the uh, hand, uh, handheld blower when you buy it when it's new, uh, this has got a standard two year consumer residential warranty. You buy a six pack of oil, which uh, oil you're going to use anyways, they will, uh, Husqvarna will give you a free three year factory warranty versus a two. So any six pack, these are sold in different varieties for whatever size gas can you're mixing in, one, two, two and a half, and five gallons, and so on, if you want larger. Uh, if you purchase three of their 50 to one pre-mixed fuel cans, the non-ethanol gasoline uh, pre-mixed fuel oil with uh, fuel treatment, um, they will bump you up to a four year warranty, and that's a factory warranty. So, uh, which is real nice. Some, some things that you're going to kind of use anyways and then you get the warranty to go for free with them. The uh, 125 BBX is also gutter kit available. Um, this is an accessory you can add to it. And uh, I just want to remind you the gutter kit does not work with the shutter back kit. Uh, the gutter kit is just a blower. Um, it's, it's a one story attachment so it reaches up an additional one story and it gives you the different connection tubes and the elbows that you need for uh, cleaning the gutter. So a uh, real nice feature to have to get you that uh, one additional story uh, reach when you, uh, when you clean out the uh, dirty gutters. So also there's uh, Mini-Me available, the uh, small 125 BVX uh, handheld uh, kids uh, leaf blower here. Uh, and then Husqvarna has got a whole line of them as well, you know, great for birthday party, Christmas gifts and that. They're, uh, they're all automated. They got noise, they move. Chainsaw moves as well. 
and then the uh, leaf blower actually blows air and that uh, makes noise as well. So um, thanks for tuning in to the uh, A1 Repairs YouTube channel. This is the Husqvarna 125 BVX uh, handheld leaf blower shredder vac kit. Thank you.